everyone welcome to another edition of our autocad mep tutorial series today we'll be focusing on the fire protection or fire alarm system so as i've explained that fire alarm system is among the function to be performed by an electrical building services engineer and the system basically works with three devices. We have a sensing devices and the notifying devices. As I've explained, the sensing devices may be a manual initiating devices, which we do call the smash glass, or you call it break glass. And some people used to call it manual core point or manual core point and it may be an automatic cool system where we have smoke detectors heat detectors flame detectors etc for this our project since it is a residential project we'll be using this heat enhanced carbon monoxide type which is a type of smoke detectors we have different types for smoke detectors and for our heat detectors we actually have two types so we have the static heat detector and the ROR heat detectors ROR means rate of rise heat detectors but in this our project we'll be using the static heat detectors which is the best for kitchen you can check my blogs I've explained a lot on heat detectors likewise it seems I've done a video on this aspect. So in our legend here, we're having our smoke detectors, heat detectors, the call point, the manual call point, the fire alarm bell, I mean notifying devices. We have the evac system, we have the bell, sander. So we have four types of devices in this category. But for residential project, we do use bell. So, and we have our control panel. As I've explained, we have three types of control panel. We have the conventional, addressable, and the digitally addressable system. So, for this our project, we'll be using the conventional system because of the fire hazard category and because it's a residential project. So we have different concentration in selecting material. And the last is the fire extinguisher. It's not a function of an electrical engineer since I'm the one handling both the electrical and the mechanical. That's the reason I put it here. Let's now go to the project plan. So we'll be copying our symbol here, which is the smoke detector. Here is our project plan. So let's increase the scale. SC. Let's call it point one three. Enter. So we increase the scale. So for a smoke detector, the coverage diameter is ten meter, which means the spacing between two smoke detectors is ten meter. You can actually use the area method by determining the area of this building. But this is the fastest approach because if you just say CP now, I want to put another smoke detector probably along this line F10 meter. You observe it has even gone out of the project. So this approach seems to be the fastest method. This is a, this is a compartment or you call it a space. So we're having a detector here. Likewise, for our main launch, we'll be having the detector. So let's see a copy more CP. For our lobby, let's place one. Although we have different categories of protection, some categories doesn't permit putting detectors in our lobby. So for our dining, let's place one. And for our kitchen, we'll be using the heat detector. So let's leave it for now. Let's come to our first floor too. For our bedroom, based on the dimension, we are only to use a single detector. 
power family launch one power bedroom here one power bedroom here one so let's place another one here in our lobby and for our paint floor here a detector a detector you can place one i don't think so but let's place it so one of the basic consideration is that every point in the building must be between the radius of the detector and the radius of the smoke detector will be 7.5 meter so any point in our building must be within the 7.5 meter range so let's verify this this is a dead zone so by taking a dimension from this dead zone here to this midpoint so just have three meter and for a fire protection system the basic consideration is called zoning so we need to zone our detectors and we have some basic considerations and principles for zoning a detector basically every floor in a building must have its own zone unless the total floor area is lesser than 300 meters square and the maximum area for a zone in a floor is 2000 meter square etc so for this our project you can observe for this our building by taking dimension from this place f3 f3 so we have 11 meter here so for this our project to be having a zone in our ground floor so let's copy our it detector to cp so it should not be directed on our cooker control unit 1.3 so the next step now is to create our circuit keep turned 